Loving Planet Side 2 so much, I thought I might do some vehicles for like um, Alak Bar. Just that's me shooting my gun for no point. Um, so what we're going to do is look at the Mosquito in this one. Um, this is footage, again, I filmed um, probably a week ago now. And um, this was really just arsing around in, <laughs> in the Mosquito trying to learn how to fly it. So um, what it, this video is, is there's two parts to this. One is kind of the Mosquito supporting a ground attack. And the second is an aerial um supremacy role where we're trying to knock out their fighters so you join us we just uh, jumped to uh night um and we're about to attack a, a small installation actually which is um owned by the vanu the vs scum um that we're trying to basically kick out of uh, i think the main base is actually just a bit further on but we're trying to secure this first part so as you can see that's where we is um, and what I was doing here was just acting support with a few others, um, really enforcing a ground attack. Um, and you'll see that any moment now. Um, pretty interesting sort of uh, to and fro. I mean, been playing this game quite quite a bit, but um, it's fascinating how you know all of a sudden the whole map can swing um, pretty pretty substantially in one you know uh, someone to his favour to the other. So absolutely loving it. I've got some really great footage of. Um, the Palisades, the defence that I did there. Um, just absolutely blown away by this very cool game. So if you haven't got it, it is free. You can play it for free. That is free. Um, and just go to Steam or wherever and download it. Okay, so um, what you're seeing here is just hovering. You can see now it's starting to attack. Love attacking stuff at night. This game is just awesome at night when um, uh, when you attack bases. You can see here we're kind of sneaking up, I guess. Well, probably not that, <laughs> not that covertly, but... Um, they certainly don't know um, that the force is about to hit them, so there's only a couple of people there. Um, I haven't really upgraded any of these yet, because I thought it'd be good just to show what they're <laughs> um, So I thought it'd be good just to show the base units um, at the moment, because um, you could upgrade them to have rocket pods and you know all, all manner of things, and I think certainly that's something I'd probably stress to really uh, get used to it. Really. Okay, we'll look at that in a See here, just smoking crazy. I don't think I've killed anything yet, but <laughs> who knows? But um, it, it, the thing with aerial power is it does become quite a um, you know, it, it's interesting because it takes their eye off the ball when they're hitting the ground units. So you can see there the tanks are now sort of slamming the base um, from there, and we have a few aerial units now basically, um, you know, keeping them, uh, I guess, their heads indoors, which is really the point of it. Um, and you'll see, oh, okay, we just lost one there. <laughs> but you'll see in just a moment the, um, you know, really how the aerial units when complementing an attack actually are pretty uh, powerful. All I've got on this is a heavy machine gun at the moment, which is, um, again, not terribly good. But, um, you know, I'm going to upgrade this, I think, when I've got certificates. Uh, just did a mass upgrade on other things at the moment, just because I'm, I'm really like, loving the tanks. Um, certainly going to do a mass they are awesome. Um, not the best shot in the world, as you can see. It's pretty tricky to hover and then kind of without you know, slowly creeping forward, etc. So it's always a bit tricky to um, come into kind of There you go, so that's a rocket pod attack there. Absolutely fantastic. No that that guy's TR actually pro. Um, And I almost killed him. That's pretty cool. <laughs> um, yeah, so I mean, really all we're doing is just hammering the. Uh, oh, God, I keep flying into people. Um, we're just hammering really the base, trying to keep everybody's heads into uh, behind the shield, particularly because what you can't see, and um, this, if you see further below, you may see it just a moment, is there's a pretty sizable uh, infantry group back to here. So you can see there, we're just hammering this base. It just looks so cool at night, it really does. The tracer fire, and etc. And those rocket pods, absolutely fantastic. Um, well worth upgrading to, actually. I know they're not too bad. I think we've got to spend 50 to get them, but you will get kills with them, so they, they kind of do pay off. As you can see, the machine gun is pretty ineffective, um, but it, it sounds pretty interesting. If you get a straight fight, gunfire, you do know you're being straight. So, um, there's a Prowler tank now. Nice, lovely. I mean, some, this is kind of a mid scale event, uh, a solid as well. This isn't a huge amount of people that time. He's probably going to die if he doesn't move, but hey. Um, Tell everybody what to do. Um, there we go, so we just got to right there. That's, that's cool. And basically, they're just behind that building trying to missile the tanks, but what they can't see, and you see there in the bottom right, is there's a lot of infantry now running directly towards uh, those guys. And with their missile launchers out, they're not really paying attention. They're probably about to get 
absolutely uh, done over, dare I say. So uh, we're now capturing the base, I believe, as well. There's various command points that you have to capture. As you can see, this this is just such a great game. I know I keep saying it, but just think about it. You've got aerial attacks, you've got tank attacks, you've got troop attacks. Just brilliant. Absolutely love it. So, yeah, I was trying to get a guy there. Yep, got him. It's cool. Well, I've got him assisted. So that's really decent. Um, and, and I think it's just wonderful when you see, particularly at night, some of the, you know, the effects are fantastic. But, um, fascinating thing about Planet Side is there's really an overwhelming force kind of thing. Because you know, currently what we're doing is we're just overwhelming them. They're spawning, but they're dying as well. And, and they don't really have any vehicles. So it's, it's pretty inevitable they're going to lose. Um, but I think that's part of the enjoyment of it. Reminds me a bit of Starship Troopers when the bugs are shooting the, uh, the ships and the dropships and that. But, oh, I just love it. So uh, there's a galaxy roaming around there. Um, not tried the galaxy yet. Might give that a go a bit later on. You've got a certificate. You've got to, go, you've got to basically cert up for it. So um, I haven't given that a go yet. Just, just so you're aware, the, the sun's coming up as well. So this is now a, a wonderful dawn attack. Somebody's shooting me. Not really damaging me. Bless them. And they're just getting hammered with missiles and tank rounds and so on. And you know, basically, it's it's kind of all over. Um, base is almost done. Just use the afterburner there just to get going. Um, Mosquito is pretty good. You kind of have to get used to it. I guess if you've got a joystick or something like that, it's actually not too bad. But um, <laughs> generally, I don't. I fly with the mouse. So um, what I'm doing is here, I'm actually going back to rearm because I've actually run out of ammo. <laughs> Um, which is sucks a bit, but um, there's probably an easy way to do it. You can actually just go near various towers and such, but um, I actually was at this point, I was kind of thinking that attack's done, let's go and see what else there is to shoot. So um, you don't have to land on the pad, at least I don't think you do, but um, I've never, I'm not very good at it, so uh, you're about to see a pretty comical attempt to uh, land. I always seem to cut it short. There you go, yep, I missed that one. Oh, that sucks so bad. Um, and then turning around, oh dear, this is going to end badly. Um, and you can see, obviously, there's a pretty sizable aerial wing now building up. That's, a, again, fantastic. Th this game is just complemented by the similarity. So if you if you see a tank division, oh, if you see a tank division rolling around, join them with a tank, and you'll have just an amazing time. And same with aerial units, even the same with infantry. You know, try and don't don't try and do something solo all the time, but you know, really do try and fit in and you'll just have an amazing game it, it is absolutely uh, a, a, a pretty it's a team game there's no other way to say it you could play solo i'm sure but you know there's more fun in um in not so i think i just reloaded yep so i've got all my guns restocked probably not fully but hey for now it'll do generally my t you know my lifespan in these these things is <laughs> it's measured in minutes not not like tens of minutes or even hours and I've seen a few people who've been roaming around I mean it's like any game you pick what you enjoy um, and I think I, I really did enjoy the aerial nature of the game but I think tanks and and sniping and infantry I, I just prefer I think it's a bit more exciting I think with the aerial stuff it's um, it's all right but it's not my cup of tea um, so obviously that guy's been shot at he's returning to base so we're just what I was doing here was just going to go and see really what he was being, what well, rather where he was coming from, um, and I think I get engaged in a pretty interesting dogfight. Um, at the moment, I'm just looking around the map, see what's going on. Yeah, so this is I think the next kind of area that we're going to hit. So you can see I don't know how easy it is to see, but there's at the moment it's NC controlled. I'm going to try to do really much to it, um, and this is where we're actually now about to. Hit the map, so um, this is me kind of getting ready to solve them up. To be honest, it, there we go. So that's my prey. And let's see if we can shoot them down. I, I really do enjoy the dogfights. I've had some really pretty good ones, actually. Um, I think that's one of my colleagues is actually helping me here as well. So it's 2v1, but hey, a fair fight. If you if you find yourself in a fair fight, you planned it wrong. So, <laughs> so we're certainly not doing that here. And yeah, basically, I'm getting shot at the moment as well. So you actually kind of have to get... A bead on someone, so you've got to really kind of do some aerial acrobatics just to get um, get out of there. Like, like it's, it's pretty tough if somebody gets on your six. See, on. If somebody gets on your six, you 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 you're in trouble, and you really got to try and shift to uh, to get out of there. And I think I did manage it because I do have support, so he actually had to avoid someone else there. 
There's my guy, and there's our tower. And before you say yes, I know you've got to leave the target, and yes, I am stupid. Um, I don't think it's because. So I'm just not very used to it, to be honest. But the adrenaline was going at this point, and it's always nice to play a game where you do actually get the heartbeat raising. That's, it's so rare nowadays, most games are just like watching a film. Um, but some of these uh, some of these engagements, you really do feel the frantic nature of it. Yeah. Oh, I'm actually just not going to shoot that down. <laughs> so underneath us right now, you probably can't see it too well, is just a mass raged battle. Well, probably a bat to begin. I think it's, you know, they've certainly dropped troops in. We're kind of trying to knock out their fighters so that they, uh, we have area superiority. And so there we go, starting to get some good hits. Just banking them. Lovely drop pods, isn't they brilliant? Isn't that fantastic? Oh my god, almost got hit by one. <laughs> uh, I wonder if they can kill you. I bet they probably can actually. <laughs> uh, so, where's my prey? That's how good I am. I keep losing my target. Uh, yeah, it looks like they just killed one guy, but I think that was the one I was after. Let's see. Okay, so what they're doing now is just taking out the, the bigger aerial units. But it's great, you know, if you have a little squadron of buddies, just, you know, it, it can be impromptu. That's a lightning. I think take that damage on it, at least. Generator. But, uh, pretty Better, better equipped take that. Ooh, the enemy has the facilities. A costly failure. So below is the base is now being attacked. Combat is raging. And I'm just basically looking around for a target, making sure that nobody's going to drop anything on us. Love the uh, landscape, by the way. Very, very impressed. I've been going around the various maps. Aha! Uh -huh. Look. And he's already damaged. All right, is he really well? he's already well. <laughs> oh, he's dead as well. <laughs> so, Galaxy's dropping in troops. That's good. I think at this point, I'm really just uh, motoring around, seeing what I can find. I think I'm going to reload here as well. Let me re arm. So, we should see in a minute. Yep, so my ammo counter starts to go up. That's pretty decent. Boink. There we go, so I'm rearmed now. Let's get back into the fray. I think I repair, yeah, that's right. I, I generally try, if I'm in a vehicle, I'm generally an engineer because you get like points as well for repping. So uh, it's, it's always a good thing to be able to rep your own vehicle, particularly with tanks as well. I've kept some tanks alive for like, you know, probably three, four hours. Um, just about knowing to when to disengage and, and knowing when to run like hell. So. Um, but I, I, I really do like tanks. I've got a huge amount of footage on tanks, so I'll certainly do some videos of them because I've had some pretty funny tank battles. It's amazing what you know you kind of see in this game. I always consider this game a bit of a spectacle. There's always something quite interesting to see. So at the moment, obviously, um, we're assaulting that base, and I think, yeah, I think I'm trying to figure out actually what's going on because it looks as if where you know I'm looking to see where I'm actually needed. This is again you kind of need to know how the map works because it's, it, there is real benefit in actually looking and saying okay, it's better if I had to at this base because some of these bases are, are foregone conclusions. They're either going to be lost or they're going to be won, and you kind of want to try and go where the fight is. Um, not everyone agrees with that. I think a lot of people just go and try and get the points, but I think for me I'm more kind of oh, so there you go. It's very good. All, all the all the a bit of a counter-attack in some of the areas, so um, can't really do much about that. Ooh. Generator compromised. Do. Let's go after him. Let the dog fight begin. So basically, um, he now knows I'm on his ass, basically, and um, yeah, he's trying to avoid. So, let's go oh, the sun. That's fantastic. Basically, he's. Pretty good pilot actually, because I'm just trying to leave. Again, we've already got some damage on him. Mm, I don't know if I'm hitting him. There we go. Oh, he's really trying to hit him. <laughs> okay, so just make it. Oh, yeah. No, I actually don't know if I've got that gun, it's somebody else. 
shot him as well here with a missile, but I certainly was doing damage to him. Um, and I think at this point, this is when it starts to turn, I think at this point, yeah, I'm starting to get attacked quite a bit. Um, I think, I can't remember what was going on, I think that the, there's somebody underneath me who's really wailing on me now with an AA gun. I could be wrong, but it certainly felt that way. You see, I'm just taking serious damage now. Yeah, I'm getting basically shot to pieces. Um, I think I try and afterburn out of it, but mm, isn't it good, does it? And when you're in this position, what's the only thing to do? I jumped out, don't know why. I hit the ground pretty hard. <laughs> yes, I am a noob. Hope you enjoyed that. See you next time.